projection of straight line. Example number one. Today, let's explore the projection of a straight line, focusing on a special case where the line is tilted to both vertical and horizontal planes. Remember our last video about different line positions in orthographic views? We're going to concentrate on that last position we mentioned. This case is important because it's common in many problems. Here's the challenge. When we look at the line from the front or top view, its real length isn't clear. So, how do we figure out the actual length? That's what we're going to learn in this video. Get ready to discover the method to find the true size of such a line. Let's get started. Before we dive into the method, there's something important we need to understand. When we're looking at the line in the front view, we represent it as a dash and b dash. In the top view, the same line is shown as a and b now. Imagine a line that goes from a dash in the front view to a in the top view. This line is what we call a projector. Similarly, there's another projector that goes from b dash to b. These projectors are key to understanding how the line is positioned in space. Keep this in mind as we move forward. Now, let's tackle how to find the true length of a line that's inclined to both the vertical and horizontal planes. If our line was inclined to just one plane, we'd easily see its true length in one of the views. For instance, imagine this line parallel to the horizontal plane. From the top view, you'd clearly see its true length. Similarly, if it were parallel to the vertical plane, the front view would reveal its true length. Keep these images in mind as a reference. When the line is parallel to the horizontal plane, we get its 2D representation like this, and similarly when it's parallel to the vertical plane. Notice how the endpoints of both the actual line and the tilted line align. So, how do we find the true length in a 2D view? Let's explore. Our top view shows the line inclined to the horizontal plane, appearing angled in the front view. Rotate this line to make it parallel to the reference line. Start by drawing horizontal lines from each endpoint of the line. Remember, the endpoints of the original and the imaginary tilted lines align horizontally. <laughs> Then, use a compass, set to the length of the line in the front view and draw an arc. Extend this line downwards to find the new endpoint. Let's call it B1. The intersection point here is the end of our tilted line. Then, draw a line from point A to this new B1 point. This line represents the true length. When we adjust the line to be parallel to the horizontal plane, the imaginary line's inclination changes, showing the angle it makes with the vertical plane, which we'll call phi. For the true length when the line is parallel to the vertical plane, draw a horizontal line from the endpoint A. Adjust a compass to the length in the top view and draw an arc as shown. Extend it upwards to find the other end of the line. Draw a line from point A dash to this new point, which we'll call B1 dash. This shows the actual length of the line. The new angle it makes with the horizontal plane is represented by theta. This is how we find the true length of a line, which is inclined to both the vertical and horizontal planes. Important key points to remember are vertical alignment of endpoints, the endpoints A dash and A as well as B dash and B, are aligned vertically. This alignment is crucial for accurate projection. Horizontal line and locus. The endpoints of the actual line and the imaginary tilted line lie on the same horizontal line. This horizontal line acts as the locus for points B dash and B for the line. Naming of views. It's important to carefully note how the front and top views are labeled, with a dash for the front view and without a dash for the top view. In future videos, we'll tackle some real questions to explore various scenarios and deepen our understanding. I hope this video helped you understand how to find the true length of a line in projections. If you found it helpful, please hit the like button and share this video with your friends. For a more in-depth learning experience, consider enrolling in my complete course. You can find the link in the description below.